Alright guys, hello and welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video, something very sad has happened. My car just quit working. And I know what the issue is, because I already had it once, whenever I first started driving it, I had this issue. And I'm going to show you the issue, and a couple things you can do to try to resolve it temporarily. You can't actually fix this yourself, unfortunately. You have to take it to a dealer. But uh, I'll show you a couple things you can do to maybe get it running so you can drive it over there. But... I mean, I don't know if it's going to work. I don't even know if it's going to work for me, to be honest, because it may not. But uh, this is just a couple things you can try. I mean, there's shots in the dark. Your probably best bet is just to load it up on a trailer and take it over there. But I'm going to show you what it's doing. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I can do for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, this it's this anti-theft system. All right, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you. It's an anti-theft system on a car. And it pretty much shuts the thing down on this one. Like, you can't do anything with it. You can turn the key. It won't even turn over. Your, your freaking uh, power door locks don't even work, even with you using the key. So, nothing works on the car. Uh, right now, I'm doing a test, and I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to bring you guys in there, tell you what the test is. I'm going to see if it worked. All right, guys, so this is it. I doubt you can even tell what it is. There it is. Okay. So, as you can see, that's my theft light. It's blinking right now. And as you know, this is my Explorer. It's not a car that I tried to steal or anything. But it's blinking right now, and the car won't do anything. Alright. I wish I could show you guys, but the lighting is awful. The only thing I got on right now is my porch light. Uh, I mean, I can try to crank it. So I'm going to pull the key out. Still doing the same thing. Put the key in. Right, the ignition doesn't do anything. So, uh, the one test that I did do was I put it here, and I turn it into the on position where the thing turns off. And I'll let it sit here for 15 minutes. Well, then I turned it off, and you're supposed to let it rest for a couple minutes, and this should, like, reset the computer and stuff. It has, it didn't work for me the first time I did it. Uh, I may try it a second time after this, I don't know. Uh, my mom works at Jackie Jones Lincoln, so today she went over there and asked her, and asked the mechanic over there at the shop what to do. He said to unhook the battery for 10 minutes, and then uh, reconnect it and see if it'll do anything. He said it's a shot in the dark and it probably won't work, but if this don't work, we're gonna have to get a we're gonna have to get a record out here and get it towed over there to the shop so it can be fixed. This is this sucks. <laughs> it really sucks. So uh, even better news, apparently my freaking hood shocks were worn out because this thing is just shutting on its own. So you know, there's that. So I'm gonna go pull out the freaking hood again. And uh, I unhooked the battery, as you can probably see, I hope you can. Okay, so as you can see, I unhooked the battery here. Uh, what it says to do, it, or what the, what the mechanic said to do, was he said to let it sit for 10 minutes, and then try starting it with the other key. Now, if you don't have a secondary key, then I honestly don't know what to tell you to do. Uh, but I'm going to try this, we're going to see if it works. And uh, I guess you can just try it with your regular key and see if it starts up. I mean, but uh, yeah, we're going to let it sit here and try starting it with the other key. So that's the current plan. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. Who knows? All right, guys. So it's been 10 minutes. Uh, I'm going to reconnect this. Try cranking up a car. Alright guys, well, there's good news. The interior lights have came on. What we're going to do now is we're going to try starting it with the other key. See if it cranks on. Well, she fired up. And it worked. Luckily, we got very lucky. Uh, I'm not sure how long this thing is going to stay running. Uh, but hey, we got lucky guys. So, if you're having this issue, unhook the battery for 10 minutes, let it sit, reconnect it, and see if she'll fire up. Also, one thing you can do if you have a multimeter is test your battery voltage, okay? You can have a battery. Damn, this is loud. Um, the one thing that you can do if you have it is test your battery voltage. I got very lucky with this thing starting up. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to last. So, uh, but, 
Yeah, I am glad it started up, guys. Uh, anyways. Okay, guys, so I happen to have gotten very lucky in this situation. Uh, as you can probably hear, the car is still running beside me. Because there is still a couple more things I want to do. I want to turn it off and try cranking it back up and make sure it runs good. And I want to try bringing my key back out here and seeing what it does again. And I'll update you guys uh, if it works or not. But, uh, yeah. That's going to be it for this video. Uh, there's going to be a little bit after the end here, after my ending, where I crank it up and do all the tests with my old key and with the other key. But, uh, yeah. And so, maybe the computer is going to be reset. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, guys. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Alright, guys. So, I know it is quite difficult to see. I'm going to turn this light right here for you. Alright, that ought to give you a little bit of light. Uh, turn this angle this down a little bit for you. There you go, guys. Alright, so, uh, real quick watch. This is the original key. It has my lantern on it. This is the one that made it stop working in the first place. Now it unlocks it and locks it. And the theft light's off, so that's a good sign. And if I go in here, crank that up. So yeah, the good thing is that it works, okay, it's fixed, but uh, I don't know, I do still recommend getting it checked out, telling your mechanic what happened, and seeing what he can tell you, uh, but yeah guys, thanks for watching.